Adding front-end code to WordPress is pretty straightforward. However, if we need to add code that runs on the server for accessing the database, for example, things get more complicated. And this is because WordPress has a very strict order of executing code when rendering pages. One solution to add server code is via shortcode functions. In this video, we are going to create a shortcode function that reads a list of employees from the database and displays them as a table on the main page. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Let's get started. The thing that we are going to do is create the table with our employees information. So we're going to go to uh, PHP my admin on localhost. This is a web based tool for managing databases. And if we look in the WordPress database, we see that all the tables have this uh, common prefix WP. This is a constant set on every WordPress installation. So now we are going to create a new table with the same prefix. We are going to call it WP employees. And it's going to have two columns. So first one is going, it's going to be called first name. It, it will be a type of variable characters of uh, up to 200 characters and also last name, the same type varchar of um, 200 characters. We're going to preview the um, SQL command that is going to be sent to the server. We see that it looks good. The these fields are not allowed to be null. Very good. And now we are going to click save. And we see that the table was created over here. Now we are going to insert some employees for testing purposes. The first one, let's call him Bob Bobson. And the second one, let's call him John Doe. Okay. We hit go. And we see two rows were inserted. And if when we go to browse, we see them over here. Now we can start on adding the shortcode to our website. So I'm, I'm going to open my local WordPress installation. That's on port 9090 and go to the admin panel. We're going to use this plugin called code snippets. You can see it over here. I used it previously for adding JavaScript to WordPress. It's a very versatile plugin, very useful. If we go here, we see that it already has this example for adding an HTML shortcode. So this is a good starting point for us. We are going to clone it. And, um, now edit it. Let's change his name. Let's say list employees shortcode. And the shortcode name will be list employees. And uh, let's, uh, let's put a message for now and wire it to the main page just to make sure everything uh, is wired correctly. Let's say um, hello from list employees. We are going to save changes and activate. And now we go to the main page and edit it. And we are going to add it here at the bot at the bottom. You'll see that the editor has um, short code block. So we just enter the name of our short code within uh, brackets, update the page. And when we view it, we see our message from here. So just something something to be careful when you are creating your own shortcode. You need to return the HTML as a string. So for example, if you do here, if you echo it like uh, like this, uh, th this will uh, this will not work. Now constructing the output as a string is very cumbersome. But we have a workaround for this. So we are going to use this function called OB start. And what this does is whenever we output something to the page with an echo, for example, it will write it into a buffer instead. And at the when we finish when we finish printing everything, we just get the content of that buffer as a string. So I'll, I'll give you an example here. If we exit the PHP mode, and uh, let's just paste this as regular HTML in here. So 
So this is equivalent to an echo. And now we just call ob get clean and this will this will return it as a string. Let's add a ob get clean in here to try it out. So we save this page and now if we refresh it, we see that it worked as expected. Okay, so instead of this paragraph, we actually we actually want to display a table for the employees. So we are going to start the table and we are going to have this table row and two headers. The first one will be first name, th, and the second one will be last name. And now we close the we close the table row and the table for for now. Okay, let's save it. Okay, this looks good. Now we are going to work on reading data from the database. So uh, WordPress has this variable called WPDB. It's a global variable that stores a connection to the database. And we are going to call the function get results, get results from this uh, database connection. And here we are just gonna write our SQL query. And for, um, so our, our table is actually WP employees, but this is, a, this is a constant in our WordPress installation. So we are going to use the, we are going to use the constants, the constant instead of hard coding it. So WPDB prefix, I think the constant is called prefix. And we are gonna limit this to, let's say a hundred. We have only two entries in our database, so it's, it's not that important for now. And we are going to store this in results, this variable called results. Okay, and now we are going to iterate for all these results results let's call the entries row and now we are going to output a table row so a tr with two cells and the first one will be row first name let's close the table cell and the second one is going to be row that last name and close the table row so because we have because we haven't clean closed the ob ob buffer this will still be written to the buffer and we also need to move this table closing we need to move it at the end of our at the end of our um, data and colon here. So now if we save it, this should work. Let's try it out. Okay, very good. This is what we were looking for. Now, of course, maybe we can change the CSS of this table, do a different styling for, for the table header. And also, if we have a lot of employees, we will want to imp implement pagination. So there will be a page indicator here, but that, that gets a bit more complicated. But this is good for now. That's it for today. I'm posting the source code in the video description below. You can also find my website there in case you need help with WordPress development. See you next time.